describe and explain optical isomerism in organic molecules. Well, this organic molecule, there's, there's a carbon in the centre and four different groups attached. If I was to make an exact copy of that, you'll notice that the copy is superimposable upon the original molecule. That seems meaningless, but if I was to make a mirror image copy this time, then although those molecules look the same, in fact they're not, the mirror image is no longer superimposable. It no longer looks exactly the same. It doesn't fit. They are non-superimposable molecules. And this is the essence of this chirality idea. All righty, our little stormtrooper has discovered a molecule uh, with a central carbon with four different groups or atoms bonded to it. Uh, a carbon such as that is called a chiral or an asymmetric carbon. And if I was to bring a mirror up to oh, watch out for the zombies. If I was to bring a mirror up to it and look at its reflection, I now have a pair of enantiomers. That is a molecule with a chiral carbon and its reflection, or the molecule that would be its reflection. Now these molecules look look identical, but they're they're really not. Uh, they may have different chemical and physical properties and even biological properties. So let's move on and try and investigate a little more. Okay, so I've made a large scale version here. I'm gonna make two identical copies of this molecule. Now notice this also has a chiral carbon and you can even say the molecule is chiral. So I'm now gonna try and put one identical molecule on top of the other one. And you'll see, hopefully, nearly, that this is possible. They are so-called uh, superimposable. You can put one on top of the other, and they look exactly the same. Now, this is not a pair of enantiomers. This is the same molecule two times. But what I need to do is I'm going to make this molecule here the mirror image. So I'm just going to change this to green and that to stripy. Ah, now they are mirror images of each other. A pair of enantiomers, if you will. They are not superimposable. No matter what I do, I cannot line these things up to look exactly the same. I can get two spheres the same, but I cannot get all four the same. They look like the same molecule, but they are not. They are different molecules. They are enantiomers. It's kind of getting frustrating here. Oh, oh, it blew up. All righty, let's look at uh, one more thing. One more new word. So we're zooming over to this final section. There again is my molecule. And I'm going to make a mirror image. There. So again, a pair of enantiomers. Now I'm going to scatter one of the enantiomers all over the floor. Any second now. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna take the other enantiomer and scatter that all over the floor. Now I've got a 50-50 mix of both of these enantiomers. There's a special name for that and it's called a racemic mixture. A racemic mixture. It comes from the word for grapes. I'm gonna swim away. Okay, let's do a little bit of board work here. Oh, squeaky chair. All right then, so this is butan 2 ol and you can see that uh, one of the carbons here, I put a star on, and that is a chiral carbon, because it has three different groups attached, a hydrogen, an OH, a methyl, and an ethyl group. You can also say that the molecule is chiral. So I I'm going to draw out in 3D butan 2 ol So it's a tetrahedral carbon in the middle, two bonds in the plane of the board, one going back, one going forward. And that, that symbol I've just drawn there is a mirror, because to work out what the other uh, enantiomer is, it's a reflection. So I'm just trying to draw out the second molecule in orange as a reflection. Okay, that's now a pair of enantiomers. They may have different chemical, biological, and physical properties. All right then, so traditionally we put a little star on the chiral carbon. So I'm gonna write out a bunch of chemicals here and see if you can work out which ones have a chiral carbon. You might have to pause the uh, 
the video for a bit. Alrighty, welcome back. This is one trick the IB used a few years ago. It does not have a chiral carbon, but people got confused with the CH3 and the H3C. Of course, that's the same thing, that's a methyl group. Don't fall for that trick. And if I was to ever write a question for the IB, my one would be, which is the first branched alkane with a chiral carbon? I'll give you the solution in a second. All right then, so hydrogen, a methyl, an ethyl, and a propyl, that's as simple as I can put on that carbon and get them all different. So the answer is two methyl hexane. 